Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. We have Clayton DeCruz writing in with a question on the P900. As you know, I'm reviewing it currently, and I have, um, I think I got a couple of videos up anyways on it. More to come. Uh, Clayton says, hi, would you use this camera for movies, or would you think it is better to buy a camcorder for movies and this one for stills? Kind of a loaded question there, Clayton, because um, yes, you can use this camera for video and it seems to do decent video. It wouldn't be my first choice for a video camera because of the extremely small sensor. I would use it for video on things where I needed that super long lens, that 2000 millimeter lens. You could certainly use it as your all rounder and do video with it. I think if you are really seriously getting into video, you're going to get it want to get into a camera that's better for video and then you can look at a higher end camcorder. My choice would, again, be what I shoot with is the Panasonic G7. I mean, put my money where my mouth is. Panasonic G7 gives you 4K, um, comes in a great package, 597 right now with a kit lens, and you can add a fast prime for very little money and you've got serious movie making video ability. So um, if I was gonna use the P900 and I wanted to use it for stills, I would look at something like adding the G7, which I would also use for stills, but that would be my main movie setup, which is what I'm currently using right now. I wouldn't really, some of the camcorders are nice, but you really gotta re have a reason these days to want a camcorder because you know for $600 you can get the G7 with the kit lens, another 100 bucks can get you the 25 millimeter F17 Prime that gives you some really nice look for, for videos and filmmaking. That is cheaper than any camcorder that does 4K and you're getting a much bigger sensor, so you're getting better low light ability and a lot of other better abilities in those cameras for photography as well as video. So that would be my recommendation there. Really loving the P900 for the 2000 millimeter reach. That's essentially the reason to buy the camera, the P900, is that it gives you an ultra zoom, great travel camera, 2000 millimeters. Take it with a monopod around the world, you're gonna get pictures nobody else got. I'm already getting pictures I never could have got because of the P900. I think I'm gonna have to pick one up myself after I have to return it to Nikon. What do you guys think? Would you agree with me on my recommendations for Clayton? Leave your comments below, let's discuss it. Thanks for tuning in, stay tuned, we'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.